Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Left Ron. Now we are currently on Minecraft, and I thought I would go ahead and bring back a new revised version of my Minecraft PC build. So we're going to be building a Minecraft computer out of redstone. You're thinking, how is this possible? Basically, we're going to be building a computer system that allows you to type on screen using a keyboard and everything like that. I've been putting a lot of work into it on various projects and stuff, trying to figure out everything. And I'm going to throw you, show you a little bit of my, of my uh, thought process. And uh, we're going to be started today by working on the actual segment display or the thing that actually creates the text, okay? So first I started off with this uh, the idea that we're going to be using redstone lamps instead of our old design of pistons like we used on the tic-tac-toe board. Basically before I had it set up, pistons go ahead and either retract or push out uh, blocks that actually create the lettering, but I thought let's go one step further and make an actual screen this time. So here I went ahead and found out that if you have redstone lamps next to the blocks, they actually power only the blocks that the redstone lamps are next to. So I thought, hmm, okay, this this will help a little bit. You can see that it does that. So I, th I thought, let's go ahead and let's make a small design on a redstone screen, or a redstone lamp screen with redstone blocks, and instead of having blocks being pushed out, the pistons are just pushing against, uh, pushing the blocks against the redstone screen right here, so they go ahead and power them. Now that was working up until the point when I actually tried to find a design that allowed us to create numerous letters and numbers out of a simple segment displayer. So it was working and everything. I had the idea. I built it up, and I was super proud that it was it was working for mo the most part. You can see right here. We we'll go ahead and retract and get rid of it. However, I found a cool and also I guess not so cool error. So what happens is Minecraft has a sort of bug, but also not really a bug, where if you have redstone lamps, or uh, redstone blocks that are stacked on top of each other, and they're being pushed out by pistons, if you retract the pistons that are powered all together, it sort of negates the actual idea or the physics of Minecraft. It goes ahead and, and it uses the redstone block that it has powered, uh, that they're all out and they retract however they don't exactly retract at the same time so some are actually powering others so it actually pushes every other block out now this is a problem because when you're trying to get no side on this side it actually gives you two so you guys can see why that's a problem because then we wouldn't be able to actually go ahead and create our actual numbers we will have random dots all over the screen and that's not really helpful at all so I stumbled across this other idea that we could actually have the redstone torches being powered and they create a upward two direction and it only powers the two. So we can simply highlight or unhighlight or unpower redstone lamps by using this system of uh, redstone torches and blocks. The redstone torch goes ahead and actually powers the redstone block in front of it, the redstone lamp block in front of it, and also the it powers the block above which is touching and connected to the redstone lamp block here which powers, powers that as well but if we have another block right there you can see it does not power it and it does not power anything around it now the simple way to go ahead and actually negate one of these is to run a redstone current since all these torches are normally on and everything that means that the the blocks themselves will normally all be lit up I'll show you right here. So this is this is it like normal if we didn't have uh, any redstone current running into it. So, but say we want to go ahead and get rid of this line right here. Say we want this to be dull. What we do is we just take our redstone. Oops, and replace that back there. I'm just getting rid of all this for you guys, so you're not confused. We go ahead and we take a redstone and we run a line directly behind it and into the repeater that is adjacent to that block and it'll negate the power now it negates the torch which turns off the power for the block above it and also for the block in front of it so there you go we have our two separate so I went ahead and I combined this thing that I found with this previous thing of the redstone blocks and found that it works in this simple manner I'll be building this in a second so don't you worry So basically what I've done is I've utilized both the redstone blocks here being pushed out for all horizontal things because the horizontal thing does not have the issue with the redstone blocks powering each other. You can see it works just fine. So I thought if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Plus we can only get too high, uh, no less than that blocks from here unless we just have a single redstone torch and no block like that. 
but I thought, you know, let's try and just utilize everything, make it easier for us, and we will be able to separate these into just single powered ones. So we don't have to build separate uh, things for each little for each uh, block that's horizontal. So we went ahead and did that for all horizontal pieces. This includes this bottom segment, the middle segment, and the top segment. You'll notice the top segment and the bottom segment, as well as the two sides in the center, they are actually missing blocks. Now this is okay because we're doing a sort of segment display type thing that you may see on alarm clock or something, so those are actually missing on those as well. It makes it a lot easier and actually is possible using the, uh, we're able to use these uh, redstone torch things that I found if we do it that way. So basically what I did is I ran the redstone here and I have all vertical component uh, components of this segment displayer with the redstone torch thing that I found and I just linked them up together so we can have the separate sections basically they're split off into four sections um, one there one there one on this side one on that side as well two more segments up the middle so this is its own separate system this is its own ses separate system okay so if we want to go ahead and take out the entire right bottom right hand side okay vertical component all I have to do is just power this, which I'll signify by placing a torch, and boom, it gets rid of it. We'll bring it back, and by removing it, and there we go. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to quickly fool around and delete some of this uh, power, get rid of some power in certain spots, and I'll be able to show you guys that if we do so, I believe we have to get rid of these as well. There you go, that is the number three. So we can just switch those around. The main thing that we have to be careful though is all the redstone block pieces with redstone blocks, those need to be powered in order to be negated. And all the, um, or turned off, They in order to be turned off, they need no power. To turn on, they need power. And with the redstone torches, in order to be turned on, they need no power. In order to be turned off, they need power. Okay, so now we're gonna actually get into building it.